Hey guys, in this video I would like to show you how to customize your Veritas Unify um, file. Uh, Veritas Unify anti-recoil specifically on this video. So when you become a subscriber you will see a new set of channels pop up under the VIP. So the ones that we need to focus on for the anti-recoil will be the Veritas Unify assets. So here you find the default anti-recoil um, files that you can modify to your liking. Uh, for some of you that you have already customized the anti-recoil in the past, this is very very similar. This is like, this is the same as far as the file format. The way to actually create your your script is a little bit different, but uh, this basically will be the same thing. So. We start by downloading these two files. Just make sure you download them. Uh, I already downloaded that one, so let's download the other. So you download those files. Once you download these files, then you will see that uh, they're empty. So I will be adding some files with some default values for a specific, a specific sensibility and attachments. Uh, of course, you know, like we know, Rainbow is a little bit tricky, so uh, the sample files that I will be uploading will get you closer, but it won't be as precise as if you were to make the changes yourself. So you don't want to, if that's okay with you, and you don't want to make those changes yourself, then you can grab any of the files I'll be uploading in the near future with specific sensibility and attachments. So. We open the defenders and attackers, and here you will see the default uh, sections. For example, let's take uh, a sledge. So you, you can see a sledge only has two primary guns uh, and one secondary gun. Uh, but by default, all operators will have six sections, six blocks of settings. The first three blocks are for primary guns, and the last three are for secondary guns. So, of course, a sledge only had two primaries, so you will, mo you will be modifying these two blocks. And he also has one secondary, you will be modifying this block. So the way it works, I, I actually assign uh, three blocks for primary and three blocks for secondary. Some operators have all these guns, some have few. So to make it simple, uh, I added the same blocks for everyone. So the first section on this block is the vertical value, and then we see the horizontal value, and then this will be the movement adjustment value. And the same for each gun. So each block is the same. So here you modify your settings according to what you, you have uh, made using the same uh, menu, and if you're happy with those values, then here's where you're going to be updating your values. And then you do this, uh, you can either do this for all the operator or only the operators you're going to be using on uh, the Unify version. So some, some of you guys use all of them. And, you, well, you might ask, on the Unify version, I'm only able to s select 26, so it makes no sense to make the changes for all this. Well, uh, just a little sneak preview. I'll be adding another option uh, on the next versions where you can actually select all the operators and it will it will look into whatever file changes you have made for the anti-recoil so that way you're able to have all your operators with the recoil values that you want and then the only drawback is that you won't be able to use the the Zen menu for customize your anti recoil. So this this option will be for those that already know their recoil values and they have saved all these values. So uh, you don't need to go into the uh, anti recoil menu on the Zen and make your changes. So all the changes will be coming from this file. So but <laughs> but it's something that's coming in the future. It's already on the works, but it's coming. It's not on this particular version. So uh, as I said, I recommend that you make uh, your changes to all the operators. So you don't have to worry about that in the future. So once you have all your operators configured, then 
it will be pretty much the same uh, on the coming on the coming versions. All right. So okay. So basically, so that's it. Once you make your anti-recall version, then you save the files. Just make sure you save these files and keep it on on the location where you don't lose them or override them by mistake. Because once these files are good for you, then that's the same files you're going to be using for the upcoming versions. So once you have made your changes, uh, we go back to your uh, Discord, to the Veritas Discord, and we will come into this uh, Veritas Unified Custom uh, channel. Here is where you're going to be enter the values that you, you copy from here. So we're going to be copying uh, defenders. And we want to be copying attacker. So we come here and click on this button, and then we paste the defender value, and then we also paste the attacker's value. And then once you click, uh, uh, you enter those values, then you submit. And what will this, uh, what will this do? Will actually create and compile a file with these particular settings that you have submitted. So that's why it's very important that uh, you don't make any mistakes as for example adding an extra comma here or, or here because that that won't compile and you will have an error saying that something is wrong so that's why it's, it's very important that you just change the values that correspond to a specific operators without going extra characters or returns or whatever all right so once you have uh, created your custom uh, unify so that will be added to your downloads option so if you were to go here um, I had it. so you connect and then once you connect to your send and then come to your uh, available uh, scripts you'll find out that you have a new one called custom unify so and then you can see that this was assigned to me so you will be the only one that, that will see the custom unify on your download. So if somebody makes changes to other things, then he will have the changes show on their uh, available download. So nobody will have access to your files or, or be able to copy. So once you have these files, it's just simple as I just did here. So just drag it over and then you have your custom unify. So, so let me get rid of this here and everything from this point on is the same so you program and it will send this file to your send and then just you select it as usual so that is the way you guys be able to customize your anti-recoil for your ability to unify so yep i hope uh, you find it easy if you have any issues just let me know but it's very simple and uh I hope he makes life easier. All right. Thank you, guys. Bye.